Hello, I'm coach John Shepherd, and in this video I'm going to show you how to improve your long jump takeoff whether or not you've got access to a pit. I like to break down the movements of the takeoff into their constituent parts. So basically there are two parts, foot strike and hip swing. On takeoff, the heel must come back towards the ground and then the hip will swing vigorously into the takeoff. If you can sharpen up the two movements and get a feel for what's required, I've found that this will transfer into your actual jumping. I will often instruct the jumpers to pre-swing their free leg before their takeoff foot hits the ground during drills. This will advance the hip more quickly forwards and allow for greater vertical and forward propulsion. There are lots of takeoff drills that you can do and we include them all year round. I found that by doing this they will transfer into the actual takeoff required for the long jump. So heel comes back towards the board and the hip moves forwards in front to get a great takeoff drive. I'm now going to show you some of the drills that we do, including takeoff drills, so that you could put together your own workout, whether at a track or in a park. After warming up with some functional movements and raising body temperature, we often progress to these ankling stroke calf drills to get the body moving more dynamically. To work the hip drive, we then do these piston up and down drive movements, alternating legs, the objective is to pick the thigh up and then drive it very quickly and powerfully down into the ground. This helps to prime the thigh for the step swing takeoff drill that often follows in my sessions. At the start of the video I described the importance of bringing the foot back to the track surface and the free leg swing and this is what you're working on with these drills. To add another coaching point here, try to swing the hip up and don't generate your lift from the takeoff leg if that makes sense. Yes, you bring the foot down quickly, but you really drive your free leg up to try to get that lift. The objective is to pop off of the track surface. I'll now show you some drills that you can do using plyometric boxes that will also help your takeoff. So stepping off the box, you try to keep your leg straight and then use the free leg to propel you up onto the other box. So again, it's all about moving the free thigh away from you. And this is very evident in this other drill, which also includes the penultimate step to take off. Using the low hurdles means that the jumper needs to hold their free thigh up and swing it away. If you are a regular channel viewer, you'll have seen the next drills a few times in my videos. This drill focuses on the free leg swing with three steps between each takeoff. You'll see the heel coming back to the track surface and the free leg swing. So the logic of my conditioning the takeoff approach is, as I've said, to keep working those elements over and over again. They will then fit together all the pieces of the jigsaw and hopefully produce a good takeoff when it comes to the actual event. OK, a couple of technical points. You also need to block the free thigh when you're working your long jump takeoff. Otherwise, you can get too much of a push through the takeoff leg. You need to be able to block the free thigh parallel and don't let the leg creep out in front of you. So here's Jahisha doing the same drill a couple of weeks later with much better technique. Again, some of you will have seen the drill that's coming up as well, but I've been asked quite a few times about how you can maintain your long jump technique work during lockdown. So this drill enables the jumper to work on the free leg swing and pull back as will be required for the hitch kick or hitch hang. If you'd like to increase your coaching knowledge and your performance knowledge then why not consider becoming a channel member. 
you'll gain exclusive content when we deep dive into various topics and subjects that you as a coach and athlete often require. So do check out the offers I have on my channel. Athlete members, for example, get a monthly exclusive video. On your desktop, go to the channel's homepage and click on Join. If you keep working on your takeoff, you will improve it. Karim is a great example. Here's a recent takeoff, and this was from a competition last year. Now, you won't always get it right, but with repetition and practice of the various takeoff drills, like you, he'll give himself the greatest opportunity to get a better takeoff. Now, again, if you're a regular, you'll know that I use mat drills a lot of the time also to improve the takeoff for the long jump and the triple jump for that matter. So do take a look out for those videos on the channel and also look out for a longer form video where I really go into detail about the takeoff. As I've been saying in quite a few videos recently, there are lots of opportunities for you to keep up your training and to train in a not too dissimilar way to the ways that you would if you have or had access to a track. So stick at it, think about what you can do and use some of the ideas that I give you in these videos in order to keep your training up if you're in lockdown. And as usual, thanks for watching and good luck with any competitions that you may have coming up. And do subscribe to the channel and leave any comments you may have in the section below or through my other social media. If you would like information on the free lap timing system, which is accurate to two one thousandths of a second and is extremely portable and works via Bluetooth and your smart device, then do get in contact with me. Likewise, if you'd like information on the NeuroCore MyTouch bioelectricity device, which is great for recovery, injury, rehabilitation, sports massage and even the enhancement of sports performance, then do get in contact.